All right, so in today's next adventure in CSS Grids, uh, I was playing around trying to understand how the whole um, autofill, autofit thing works, and um, uh, actually noticed, well, one, that there were two separate properties, one called autofill, one called autofit, uh, which is going to be confusing. Uh, and uh, you'll have to remember which is which and why you would use uh, either one. And it, it, it's taken me uh, a day to kind of just like wrap my head around the difference between the two uh, because they actually do exhibit slightly different behavior. Um, so uh, you'll notice here, um, I mean, at first glance, they look the same. I, I have a, a wrapper with five elements um, and they all seem to take up the same size. And you'll notice if I resize down, they break onto new lines um, exactly like you would expect them to. Um, however, uh, you know, because what it's doing here is it's saying, you know, with the min max, um, minimum 200 pixels, um, otherwise uh, split up the difference between um, all that space. And so, uh, you know, as I resize out, um, it will resize the boxes. Um, but you'll notice a behavior, actually, once I get up to a certain size, <laughs> Uh, one, it contracted in size, and you'll notice like the boxes actually kind of grow still um, up until a certain point when they collapse again. Um, and I, I have to say, I, I was baffled. Like, why is it doing this? Uh, whereas, you know, the bottom one was kind of doing what I expected it to do. It's, it's growing, um, you know, it's splitting up the space evenly across all of them. Uh, and I finally... Uh, it, figured out, it finally clicked as to what's happening. Um, so if you could imagine uh, with the autofill that as I expand out, that there is actually now room to put another box here, right? And there's room to put another box here. And so as I resize out, it like stretches, if you could imagine one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes. And then at some point it goes, you know what? I could probably fit eight boxes in here. And and so it, it, it creates these uh, implicit grid items using autofill, um, whereas with autofit, um, it only looks at the five elements and stretches those across. So uh, yeah, that's just something to be aware of um, and the difference between autofill and autofit. Thank you.